I honestly, I didn't know what vibranium was, so I did a little bit of research. I found that there was two different types of vibranium. About 10,000 years ago, a meteor landed on Earth that was composed of vibranium. There was parts of it landed in Antarctica and parts of it landed in Wakanda. The Antarctica version has vibranium that consists of material that it can absorb all kinds of metals. The Wakanda vibranium has material that is resistant and also can absorb kinetic energy of all forms. It is this uh, Wakanda vibranium that is used to make the Black Panther suit and has also been used in Captain America's shield as an alloy. An alloy is a mixture of two or more elements within the same metal. Uh, Captain America shield that is uh, made out of an alloy between vibranium and iron that were fused together to form something that has different physical properties than the uh, than the vibranium to begin with. Uh, the claws of Black Panther are also made out of an alloy uh, called adamantium and that has a little bit harder properties than Captain America's shield. So depending on how things are mixed together you can make different kinds of metals with different kinds of strengths and physical properties. So on Earth, we do have metals from space. Uh, these metals come to us as meteorites, and most of those meteorites are made out of an iron-nickel alloy. So some of the hardest metals that we have on Earth are tungsten and chromium. Where tungsten does not typically occur naturally. I've not seen any naturally occurring examples of tungsten, but chromium has a, is really hard, a little bit harder than tungsten, and does occur naturally in some diamond mines in northern parts of Russia. The hardest elements that we have on Earth, actually carbon, has both the hardest and the softest. The hardest forms of carbon is a mineral called diamond. It's the hardest substance that we do have on Earth. And the softest is graphite. It's also made out of pure carbon.